In this Python tutorial, we will create this website using the Streamlit library. There is a multi-select object in the web application. Depending on the option selected, the image is displayed on the web page. In the video, I will show step-by-step -step how to make a web application. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video to support us. First, let's activate the web server. I open terminal. I open the command prompt. I go to Venn file. You can activate the web server using this code. The web server is currently running. I create a variable. I will create a multi-select object. The first parameter sent to the multi-select function represents the title of the object. I will send a list as the second parameter. Members in the list represent the options of the multi-select object. I save the code file and refresh the page. I added a multi-select object with two options to the web page. I add two more options. The third parameter sent to the multi-select object represents the default value. In other words, the object will be initialized with the Tesla option selected at the beginning. I save the code file and refresh the page. I selected the Tesla option as default. There may be more than one default option. Let's set Microsoft and Tester as default. I save the code file and refresh the page. Depending on the selected option, I will display the image object on the screen. I'm creating a for loop. If the x value is Tesla, I will send the Tesla image to the image function. I will use these images in the project. You can download the images using the GitHub link in the description of the video. I save the code file and refresh the page. Since Tesla is the default value, the image is displayed directly on the screen. I'm going to make the image a little smaller. I can do this using the width value. I adjust the caption value to suit the image. I save the code file and refresh the page. I also edit if queries for other options. I edit the caption and image names. I save the code file and refresh the page. Depending on the selected option, the image is displayed on the screen. In this video, we learned how to use the multi-select object. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video to support us.